Edward Stevenson with TimelessWallet.net. In this video, we'll look at our trade of Alpha Tech Holdings Incorporated, stock symbol ATC, to understand how to hedge risk, protect your capital, and make in the market as a trader in the long haul. Rule of thumb has it that when a market is ghastly oversold, it will rebound or correct to the upside. As a result, we decided to pinpoint entry and send out a real-time trading alert for shares of Alpha Tech Holdings Incorporated on Friday when the market tumbled some 50% following a poor earnings announcement. The market did correct to the upside the following trading session, Monday session, with a gap to the upside and a nice cushion of gains for our members, including our own trading position. However, despite how confident we may have been that the market will move to the upside and that uh, we are sitting on a beautiful entry price, we always protect our capital by setting a stop price. In this case, we pinpointed support and we alerted members to the fact that there was significant support at $2.35 per share, low coming off Friday's trading session when the market tumbled 50%. We placed a stop price just under support, just in case the market would come back, test support and rebound and head to the upside. Unfortunately, that did not happen. The market broke to the downside, heading as low as $2.04 per share. So potentially speaking, we could have sustained losses of as much as 15%. Instead, we had a stop price in. That stop executed on Wednesday's trading session, this big red candle that you see here, and we sustained a loss of 2.5%. As ridiculous as this may sound, we are satisfied with our trade. The reason being is that you must be willing to take small losses. Losses are, in general, not a great thing but small losses are acceptable and they will churn up from time to time. You have to be willing to accept small losses, accept large gains. In this case we avoid a large loss by accepting a small loss. We made an intelligent bet risking but five cents to the downside and a very large upside as you can see had the market broken above resistance of two dollars and sixty cents per share or so. Can't recall this, this number quite clearly but you can see the upside was quite great between that huge gap down we saw on Friday's trading session and that was our bet. We made a bet with downside 5 cents and an upside perhaps of a few dollars that we could have potentially gained. The bet was intelligent, the market just didn't head our way. Sometimes this happens and you have to be willing to take those losses. Even if we had held and averaged down at a lower price, there's no telling where the bottom is. Once we do pinpoint that bottom, we'll continue watching this market and look for another entry signal and make money on that trade. Instead of risking our entire capital, what happens if this market continues tanking? Well, where do we draw the line where we're not willing to hold this market any longer? That's why we bet on a small downside, a large upside, and most of the time, trades will go our way. This wasn't one of the cases. Just This just goes to show that you have to be willing to accept that small loss from time to time to stay in the game as a trader in the long haul. Once more, this was Edward Stevenson with TimelessWealth.net on hedging risk and protecting your capital. If there are any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for listening.